Chair, and it's great to see you in the chair once again. Um, can, can I say to the, uh, the, the um, Secretary of State that the union is in trouble because there's no longer a case for the union, and we know that because a significant number of under 50s now support independence. But perhaps he could tell us what the union's greatest achievement has been in the course of the past few years. Is it a Brexit that Scotland doesn't support? Is it high rise energy prices in energy rich Scotland, or perhaps it's been run by a bunch of Tories that most of Scotland rejected? Yeah. 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 Uh, well, I noticed the, the honourable gentleman didn't quote any opinion polls to me this time. Um, <laughs> Nor, nor, nor when he mentioned Brexit did he, did, he, did, did, did he call for another referendum, a result that was 52 per cent to 48. Uh, order, order, order. Now, Scottish questions are very important. There's too much chatting going on. There are subtleties in the questions and the answers that people are missing. <laughs> Secretary of State. Well, Ma Madam Deputy Speaker, I was trying to give the very subtle answer that when the Brexit referendum was 52 per cent to 48, the honourable gentleman wanted another referendum. Yeah, yeah. The result of the leadership of election was 52 to 48, and suddenly he's very happy with it. And, it and, 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 and he loves to quote opinion polls to me. He didn't quote any today. I can't think why. All I would say is the people of Scotland are seeing the strength of this United Kingdom, whether it's through free ports, whether it's through investment zones, whether it's through city and region growth deals, the desire to stay in the United Kingdom gets stronger and stronger.